Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be telling you guys where the original props used for the model seasons of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends are today. Now before I get into the video, regarding engines 1 through 7, I will only be talking about their original Postpex models, not the brass copies that were made in the later seasons of the model era. Along with this, I will only be talking about every standard gauge model that appeared from seasons 1 through to 7, the classic seasons, in order of their number and season appearances. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 1. Thomas. Thomas's original Postbex model was built for the Down the Mine pilot in 1983 and would be remodeled for the first season of the show in 1984. The model would last be seen in season 11's episode Thomas and the Sticky Cheese in 2007. As of 2023, Thomas's original model is owned by Mattel and is under lock and key in their storage and has not been seen by the public in 16 whole years. Number 2. Edward. Edward's original Perspex model was built for 1984 Season 1 and would last be seen in Season 10's episode James the Second Best in 2006. As of 2023, Edward's original model is now owned by prop collector Thomas Tank Merch on Twitter. Number 3. Henry. Henry's original Perspex model was built for 1984 Season 1 and would last be seen in Season 11's episode Henry's Lucky Day in 2007. As of 2023, Henry's original model is owned by Mattel and can be seen displayed at various public events such as the Clearwater event and Tugs the Exhibition 10 year anniversary event. Number 4. Gordon Gordon's original Perspex model, like Thomas, was built for the Down the Mine pilot in 1983 and would be remodeled for the first season of the show in 1984. The model would last be seen in season 11's episode Gordon and the Engineer in 2007. As of 2023, Gordon's original model is owned by Mattel and can be seen displayed at various public events such as the Clearwater event and Tugs the Exhibition 10 year anniversary event. Number 5. James James's original Perspex model was built for 1984 Season 1 and would last be seen in Season 10's episode James the Second Best in 2006. As of 2023, James's original model is now owned by prop collector Thomas Tank Merch on Twitter. Number 6. Percy Percy's original Perspex model was built for 1984 Season 1 and would last be seen in the feature-length Thomas & Friends special Calling All Engines in 2005. As of 2023, Percy's original model is now owned by prop collector Thomas Tank Merch on Twitter. Number 7. Toby Toby's original Perspex model was built for 1984 Season 1 and would last be seen in the feature-length Thomas & Friends special The Great Discovery in 2008. As of 2023, Toby's original model is now owned by a private collector after being purchased in an auction during November of 2022 for nearly £35,000. Number 8. Duck Duck's model was built for 1986's Season 2 and would be last seen in Season 12's episode Best Friends in 2008. As of 2023, Duck's model is owned by Mattel and can be seen displayed at various public events such as the Clearwater event. Numbers 9 and 10. Donald and Douglas. Donald and Douglas's models were built for 1986's Season 2 and would last be seen in Season 12's episode Saved You in 2008. As of 2023, Donald and Douglas's models are owned by Mattel and can be seen displayed at the Hara Model Railway Museum. Number 11. Diesel. Diesel's model was built for 1986's Season 2 and would be last seen in Season 12's episode Don't Go Back in 2008. As of 2023, Diesel's model is owned by Mattel and can be seen displayed at the Explore the Rails exhibition. Numbers 12 and 13. Bill and Ben. Bill and Ben's models were built for 1986's Season 2. Bill's model would be last seen in Season 11's episode Hector the Horrid in 2007, while Ben's model would be last seen in Season 12's episode Gordon Takes a Shortcut in 2008. As of 2023, Bill and Ben's models are owned by Mattel and can be seen displayed at the Hara Model Railway Museum. Number 14, Daisy. Daisy's model was built for 1986's Season 2 and would be last seen in the feature-length Thomas & Friends special Calling All Engines in 2005. As of 2023, Daisy's model is owned by Mattel and was previously on display at Drayton Manor Theme Park until 2022, when it was placed into storage as her chassis was taken off and placed onto Boko's model, as they shared the same chassis in the show for the Clearwater event in 2022. Speaking of the Green Devil himself, number 15, Boko. 
Boko's model was built for 1986's Season 2 and would be last seen in Season 5's episode Stepney Gets Lost in 1998. As of 2023, Boko's model is owned by Mattel and can be seen displayed at various public events such as the Clearwater event. Number 16. Oliver. Oliver's model was built for 1991 Season 3 and would be last seen in Season 12's episode Gordon Takes a Shortcut in 2008. As of 2023, Oliver's model is owned by Mattel and can be seen displayed at the Hara Model Railway Museum. Number 17. Mavis. Mavis's model was built for 1991 Season 3 and would be last seen in Season 12's episode Don't Go Back in 2008. As of 2023, Mavis's model is owned by Mattel and can be seen displayed at the Hara Model Railway Museum. And at number 18, City of Churro. City of Churro's model was built for 1991 Season 3 and would be last seen in Season 12's episode Steady Eddie in 2008, painted brown and weathered and used as scrap dressing. As of 2023, City of Churro's scrap model is owned by Mattel and can be seen displayed at various public events such as the Clearwater event. And at number 19, the Flying Scotsman, or the half that we got of him. <clears throat> anyway, only the tenders for the Flying Scotsman's model were built for 1991 Season 3 due to budget constraints and would be last seen used to scrap dressing in the feature length Thomas and Friends special The Great Discovery in 2008. As of 2023, the tender models are most likely still in Mattel's storage. And number 20, ooh, a good one, Stepney. Stepney's model was built for 1995 Season 4 and would be last seen in Season 12's episode Rosie's Fun Fair Special in 2008. As of 2023, Stepney's model is owned by Mattel and is currently in Mattel's storage. Number 21, Class 40. Class 40's model was built for 1995 Season 4 and would be last seen in Season 7's The Whistle Song in 2003. As of 2023, Class 40's model is owned by Mattel and can be seen on display at the Drayton Manor theme park. Number 22, Derek. Derek's model was built for 1998 Season 5 and would be last seen in the feature length Thomas and Friends special Calling All Engines in 2005. As of 2023, Derek's model is owned by Mattel and is currently in Mattel's storage. Number 23 and 24, Ari and Bert. Ari and Bert's models were built for 1998 Season 5 and would be last seen in Season 12's episode Gordon Takes a Shortcut in 2008. As of 2023, Ari and Bert's models are owned by Mattel and are currently in Mattel's storage. Okay. Now I thought I may as well cover the characters introduced in Thomas and the Magic Railroad as well, so here they are. Number 25 and 26, Splatter and Dodge. Splatter and Dodge's models were repainted versions of Ari and Bert's models done after season five for the feature length Thomas and Friends film, The Magic Railroad in 2000. The models would last be seen in their model form in the same movie as their debut. Number 27, Diesel 10. Ooh, scary. Diesel 10's model was built for the feature length film Thomas and the Magic Railroad in 2000 and would be last seen in the feature length Thomas and Friends special The Great Discovery in 2008. As of 2023, Diesel 10's model is owned by Mattel and was in Mattel's storage until 2021 when it was displayed at the public Clearwater event before being returned. Number 28, Lady. Lady's model was built for the feature length film Thomas and the Magic Railroad in 2000 and would be last seen in the feature length Thomas and Friends special Calling All Engines in 2005. As of 2023, Lady's model is owned by Mattel and was in Mattel's storage until 2021 when it was displayed at the public Clearwater event before being returned. Yarr, number 29, Salty. God, that was a horrible, horrible. Salty's model was built for 2002 Season 6 and would be last seen in Season 12's episode Henry Gets It Wrong in 2008. As of 2023, Salty's model is owned by Mattel and is in Mattel's storage. The model has been discussed as a possible candidate to be placed on display at the Drayton Manor theme park. Number 30, Harvey. Two models for Harvey were built for 2002 Season 6 and would be last seen in Season 12's episode Saved You in 2008. As of 2023, both of Harvey's models are owned by Mattel. One is in Mattel's storage, while the other is on display at the Drayton Manor theme park. Number 31, Emily. Two models for Emily were built for 2003 Season 7 and would be last seen in Season 12's episode, Percy and the Bandstand in 2008. As of 2023, both of Emily's models are owned by Mattel. 
One is in Mattel's storage while the other is on display at the Explore the Rails exhibition. Number 32, Fergus. Fergus's model was built for 2003 Season 7 and would be last seen in Season 7 The Whistle Song in the same year. As of 2023, Fergus's model is owned by Mattel and is currently in Mattel's storage. Number 33, Arthur. Arthur's model was built for 2003 Season 7 and will be last seen in Season 12's episode Steady Eddie in 2008. As of 2023, Arthur's model is owned by Mattel and is currently in Mattel's storage. Number 34, the big orange favourite of mine, Murdoch. Murdoch's model was built for 2003 Season 7 and would be last seen in Season 12's episode Thomas Puts the Brakes On in 2008. As of 2023, Murdoch's model is owned by Mattel and is currently in Mattel's storage. And lucky last, number 35, Spencer. Spencer's model was built for 2003 Season 7 and would be last seen in Season 11's episode Dream On in 2007. As of 2023, Spencer's model is owned by Mattel and has been pulled in and out of Mattel's storage to test if the curves of track on the undergoing layout revamp at Drayton Manor theme park will accommodate large tender engines. Thank you all so much for watching and I'd like to thank you guys in advance for 2,000 subscribers since we are so close to hitting that number. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.